Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to extract an audio file from a video clip on your iPhone using Shortcuts. Shortcuts is an amazing app that's included in iOS 14. So if you have the latest version of iOS, you'll be able to follow along. And the Shortcuts allows you to really tap into the power of the iOS operating system. And you can get in and really customize certain features and functions. One of these is the ability to extract audio from a video file. And it's going to really help out those of you who are editing lots of video on your iPhone and you wanna create a separate audio file and edit it in audio editing applications, or it could be for a situation where you've recorded a podcast as a video and you need to upload the MP3 file to the podcast server. So you'd need to extract the audio from that video clip. And that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So without any further delay, let's go ahead and take a look at how to extract audio files from video clips on your iPhone. To do this, we're going to use the Shortcuts app. If you can't find it, swipe down from the middle of the screen to bring up the search bar and then type the word shortcut into the field. You should be on the homepage screen of the app and there may be a few sample shortcuts that have already been created for you. We're gonna create our own shortcut and to do that, tap on the plus button icon on the top right hand corner of the screen. Tap on the three dotted icon to the right of the title to edit the shortcut and give your shortcut a name. I'll call this shortcut extract audio because that's what we're going to be doing. Next, I'm going to tap on the show in share sheet option so that the shortcut will appear when we use the share feature on the video in our camera file later on. Just below, tap on the share sheet types field and tap on unselect all, then tap on media. As we only want to apply this shortcut to media files, tap on the details menu item on the top left to go back to the previous step. And now tap on done. Tap on the large blue plus icon, tap on media and scroll down to the video section, then tap on encode media. Tap on show more to see the options and now select the audio only option and choose whether you want to extract to the M4A audio format or AIFF. If you're editing your audio with Apple apps and most popular applications, you can choose M4A for broader compatibility. You might want to select AIFF. If you select M4A, you can actually change the speed from normal 2.5 or two times or even a custom speed. But for most purposes, you wouldn't want to change the speed of the audio. So no need to change anything here. Now that we have created our action, we're going to set up a save function to save the file down. To do that, tap on the blue plus button tap on documents and scroll down to the save file option, tap on it, and then tap on the service you want to save the file to. You can save it to iCloud Drive, which is most likely gonna be the default, or any other file service app that you've installed on your phone. If you leave the ask where to save checkbox ticked and marked in the green portion, you can actually change your location of the save file in the final step. Tap on done to save your shortcut. Now we're gonna to go to test it out by opening up a video file in our camera roll. Tap on the Photos app, navigate to a video. Tap on the Share option on the bottom left-hand corner. Scroll down to the bottom section and just under the Save Files option, you should see your new Extract Audio shortcut as an option. You can save it straight to iCloud Drive or whichever cloud service you selected, or you can create a new folder by tapping on the folder icon on the top right-hand corner then save your audio file down. Once completed, you'll see a confirmation screen slide down from the top to confirm the process is complete. Tap on the Files app. If you can't find it, swipe down from the top middle of the screen, type in Files, and then navigate to the location of the audio file. In this case, I've saved it to the folder on my iCloud drive called Audio, and there it is. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, as always, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel. And as always, if you have any questions about the content you've seen today, feel free to drop them in the comments box below and I'll endeavor to get back to you as soon as possible. See you on the next one, bye for now.